So we now got an objective indicator of dreaming physiologically in the lab. Now, is there some way we can deal with the dreams also objectively? Can we take dreams, people have been writing them down in your dream journal, how could we work with those scientifically? So if you want to work with something scientifically, you have to be able to specify what it is, you have to be able to quantify it, and then you can start to see when you get more of this versus more of that, and this happens with this variable, and this happens with that variable, then you can start doing some systematic research to see how those things co-vary, how they influence each other. So, one way that you can do that then is this technique that would be called content analysis. So that's simply taking a dream, you write it down, and to try and analyze that written content. You could do it with newspaper ads, you could do it with presidential speeches, you could do it with anything where you want to go through and see what's happening. You've done it with evergreen transcripts. And it's been done with evergreen transcripts. So you can see how many times marvelous, wonderful, sensation, greatest student they've ever had, versus clunky, lazy, not very involved, kinds of things are in the reports. I'm sure those latter ones are never said, but you could do that in a sense with the, with the content analysis. So now, what would be in a dream? So that what uh, Calvin Hall and I did many years ago, and Calvin had a big collection. He had tens of thousands of dreams he had been collecting from college students in Ohio, a couple of different universities there. He got a lot of people doing dissertations, and usually for their dissertations, what they had to do was to collect dreams and study them from different kinds of groups to see what were people dreaming about and what else might be going on in their life. So he had thousands of, tens of thousands of dreams there. So we sat down and tried to read through the dreams. He had done some work on this before, so I don't want to claim exclusive writes on that. Calvin certainly had been working a long time before in trying to prepare some of the preliminary scales for it. So if you look through a dream, you find that a dream, in a dream it takes place somewhere. You're inside here in the classroom or you're outside on the campus. Uh, there's different objects you encounter. You see cars, you see trees, you see light posts, you see food, and so on you encounter people. And there's maybe an isolated person you see, maybe it's a whole crowd of people. And then you'd be interested in what kinds of people? Are they males or females? Are they people that you know or are they strangers? Are they family members? Or are they occupationally identified as a doctor or as a lawyer? Are these characters adults or are they teenagers or children? What are these characters doing? And so we have several different social interaction scales. So one would be aggression. Okay, if it's aggression, who's starting it? Who's the one who gets hit or gets yelled at? Uh, and it could be friendly. Again, who starts the friendliness? Who accepts the friendliness? Could be sexual. Again, who starts? Who uh, receives? And uh, it could be in terms of emotions. Somebody's angry, somebody's sad, somebody's fearful. And so, who has those particular emotions? Uh, we could also look at, uh, are there bad things that happen? If, if you fall on the ice and break your leg, that's bad, you got a broken leg but we would call that a misfortune. If somebody went up and broke your leg deliberately, that would be an aggression. Same outcome, you got a broken leg. You have a different agency. One time it's most is beyond your control, and the other is just the person who deliberately broke your leg. Uh, so we tried to go through and do all of that. Now with that, there's been several different books done. Uh, this guy, William Domhoff, worked with Hall quite a bit. He's been doing more with content analysis uh, by far than I, uh, and pretty much anybody else. Calvin's been had a number of years now. And he's written this book trying to, for one thing, refute Freud and say that he does not accept Freud's theories. 
because if you remember it was Freud, what did he pay attention to? He paid attention to the manifest content. I mean, he ignored the manifest content. So he said, the dream as you report it isn't really what it's about. That's a disguise. Now you have to get the associations. Then with the associations, you'll find what the hidden meaning was. But what they tell you, the manifest content, is not the real dream. And in this book and others that he's done, Domhoff shows how that manifest content can tell you a great deal about all kinds of people and what's going on in their life. He also describes in here uh, the scoring system, and we're going to go through that. I don't expect you to really ever do this in any length or with your dreams. All I want to do is to try and show you it's not as complicated as you might think. So if you pick up this one of a sample dream here, scored with our scales, and it's scored for you, and let's read that one through, and then I'll try and tell you why it's scored the way it is. Okay? I was on a date with my boyfriend riding around in his convertible. So what's happening there is that there's a friendliness going on. The dreamer and her boyfriend are riding around in a convertible. It's a friendly. So over there under the friendliness one, we put the D. That means the dreamer. Now, the characters are scored up over there in the far left. So you see you've got a 1MKA. That means it's a single character. It's a male. It's somebody who is known to the dreamer and he's an adult. So her boyfriend is a 1MKA. So we see that the dreamer has the friendliness with the boyfriend and it's equal. It isn't one initiates it with the other. They're both doing it together. It's a mutual and so the equal sign means they're both equally participating. One didn't initiate it with the other. Now, we also see they're riding around. So the riding around is an activity and that would be under the activities we see the dreamer and that boyfriend with an L. An L means there's a location change. So they went from some place to some other place in <coughs> My hair was tucked under a big red bandana. So her hair is a body part. It's a part of her head. So if we go under the objects now, we see that there was a his convertible. That's a TR for a travel device. The BH is for her head. B is for body parts. H is for head. So her hair is part of what's connected to her head. So that's the BH. It's under a big red bandana. So the bandana is a piece of clothing. So that's the CL under the objects. And it was also big and red. So we have modifiers. Modifiers are essentially adjectives. So big means if anything is big, it's an S plus. If it's small, it's an S minus. So she has a big bandana, so that's an S plus. It's a red bandana that's a chromatic color, so that's a C. And uh, so we, we put in the code. We heard another car driving by. Okay, now under activities, the dreamer and her boyfriend heard the car, so that's an auditory, so that's an A down there. We saw a policeman, so the dreamer and her boyfriend saw the dreamer, that's an S under the activities there, who waved and smiled at us. So now we've got the policeman, and so he scored up under the characters as a one MOA because he's a male, and he's identified by his occupation. So as a policeman, that's an occupation. That's an O, and he's an adult. Uh, and he's being funny to them. He's waving and smiling. So under friendliness, we've got the policeman. The arrow means the policeman is initiating it, going toward the dreamer and her boyfriend. So he's giving a friendliness to them. Uh, and the, uh, let's see, the 
policeman is also doing something physically. So you see down under the activities, the policeman, the one MOA, is doing a physical thing to the dreamer, and that is he's waving and smiling at them. We saw a deer, so now the dreamer and her boyfriend have another S because they're seeing something. They saw a deer, so under the characters, that's an animal. You could have one animal, or you could have a group of animals. So if it was a whole herd of deer, it would be two A and I for a whole herd of them. We saw a deer in the grass nearby. So grass is an object, so under the objects, that's an NA for the nature. So trees and grass would be that. The policeman shot it, and blood was splattered on a nearby tree. So the policeman shot it, that's an aggression. So we see under aggression, the policeman did a level seven to the animal, he shot it. And blood was splattered on a nearby tree, so the blood is under the object, it's VA for a body part that's anatomy. So blood would be uh, scored there. And it was on a nearby tree, so tree is an object in nature, so that's an NA under objects for the tree. I was afraid we would crash, so that's an emotion. So the emotion is apprehension, and the person who's apprehensive is the dreamer. So there's an apprehensive for that. So, it doesn't take very long to do it. If I know how to do that, I could do that in a minute, two minutes max. And if you've got somebody who's trained with it, it doesn't take them very long. Now, we're going to try and sort of score one up together, so if you will take your other blank sheet. Oh, one other thing we could do with this, I keep bugging you for it, and it's really important, to try and come up with a title for the dream. Let's see what kind of a title we could come up for, the being out with the boyfriend, etc. So what's a good title for that dream? Poor Bambi. I'm sorry? <laughs> Poor Bambi. Poor? Poor Bambi. Oh, poor Bambi, okay. Poor Bambi, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, poor Bambi got shot. Okay, give me, give me a couple of other titles for you. Come on, you're saying them to yourself. Let, we need to share them. Police brutality. I'm sorry, what? Police brutality. Police brutality, okay. I'm sorry? Silence of the does. So you can get a whole bunch of different kinds in it. And how you choose the title is important because it's saying something of what do you select out. Is it, wow, out with my boyfriend. I mean, I, mean, I could make up 15 titles for this. Great time with a boyfriend. You know, policeman being nice to me. Upset because my hair was a mess. Uh, you know, poor Bambi. Right? We could, you know. Death of innocence. Uh, death of innocence. Death of innocence, right. Great. Uh, that would be a great title. You know, am I going to crash again? I, I mean, you could go on 50 titles here, but each one is saying something important about the dreamer and what you select out of that. Okay. So